Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology, and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care, where we are continuing to bring you the latest information in ophthalmology. Today, I want to talk to you about DSEC, which stands for Decimase Stripping Endothelial Keratoplasty, which is commonly known as a partial thickness corneal transplant or an inner layer corneal transplant. This is different as opposed to transplanting the full thickness of the cornea, and it's a new procedure that's been around for about 10 years. To understand what exactly DSEC is, that's D-S-E-K, the abbreviation, let's look at the model. Remember the cornea is the clear shield that covers the front of the eye. And instead of removing the central part and transplanting the full thickness of the cornea when it becomes cloudy or swollen, with DSEC we can transplant just the inner layers of the cornea if only the inner layer is a problem with the vision. This could be in a case when people have had multiple operations on the eye or if they had glaucoma surgery or complicated surgery that can cause a problem with the inner layer of the cornea. That inner layer consists of many pumps which help to pump water out of the cornea back into the eye to keep the cornea thin and to keep it from being swollen from water. When those pumps fail, it could be necessary to have a transplant, the DSEC. Another reason is a genetic condition called Fuchs dystrophy that people are born with, which gets worse as time goes by, and when they become older, this dystrophy may cause swelling in the cornea or problem with this inner layer. The advantages of transplanting only the inner layer compared to transplanting the full thickness of the cornea is that the recovery can be quicker and there can be less stitches used in this type of operation which can be more comfortable for the patient and also will cause less astigmatism because in a normal corneal transplant having to place lots of stitches in the cornea could cause an irregularity in the curvature or cause astigmatism. For more details about that you can refer back to an older episode of the State of Sight where I went into detail about astigmatism. This procedure, the DSEC transplant, usually takes less than one hour and the patients have to do a particular thing to help recover since we put air in the eye to help the transplant stay in place. The front part of the eye is filled with air and this helps the transplant attach until it has a chance to heal on its own. Therefore, for the first 24 hours, patients have to face straight up towards the ceiling to make that air bubble float up against the inside of the cornea and hold the transplant in place. With time, the transplant seals and pumps itself into place where it sticks naturally. If you have trouble with your cornea, including clouding or swelling, DSEC may be an option for you. And if you have any questions about this, please post on our Facebook. We'll be happy to take your questions there. Until we see you again on the next episode of A State of Sight, good health and good sight.